All right, what is going on, guys? My balls back again, coming at you with a video brought to you and sponsored by. Actually, it's not this video ain't sponsored, but yeah, I just wanted to bring, bring a huge shout out to the people who are finally bringing charges across uh, all those police officers that were actually there, not just the one who actually murdered George Floyd. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, shout out to that. Thank God. But uh, yeah, well, we're still yet to be determined because they upgraded the charges, which means that they have to prove intent that they were trying to kill George Floyd to begin with, which honestly, proving that in the court of law is probably going to be pretty difficult, especially when uh, people just bring up that they're cops. So until they actually get uh, uh, until they get the guilty verdict, you know, uh, ruling still out. But uh, either way, let's just get right into it. This is the new Kempachi. Uh, shout out to the boy Kimpachi for actually coming home for less than seven hundred dollars. It only cost like two hundred, three hundred, but stop. Uh, who, who counting, right? So, except for me. <laughs> Eleven hundred five stamina, eight hundred twenty three focus. I didn't level up his attack yet. Uh, I think I can. I can a little bit, yeah, and I could buy that. But right now, I just want to see exactly how he does without it. Uh, I did link slot him, of course. Uh, we are going with a normal attack damage build. Rukia does have a level three attack, which is why she's on here instead of a normal. Uh, 25 nat link instead uh, he will be taking damage because he doesn't have long reach so it's a little harder uh, to just assume that he's never going to take damage otherwise i would go with like a full stamina boost link uh, attack 30 30 30 across the board i feel like he should be fine with a hollow bait in these stages if we're autoing as well um rolling still out we'll, we'll see we'll see how everything goes but um yeah uh, let's just get right into it uh, he does have a normal attack bruiser of 40 percent I'm like 90% sure. Uh, let's see. 25, 50, 70. Yeah, so 40% normal attack damage uh, increase because of his bruiser. A berserker of 50%. Devastation, 40%. Decrease damage taken by 16% is just from his main link. And then on top of that, he does have paralysis immunity. He has some freeze resistance on him, which is uh, from the Rukia link, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> Uh, and increase speed link slot potions plus five when you're actually doing runs uh, in IZ. Now, he does have flurry, he does have poise, and fortunately, he actually did get sprinter. But uh, <laughs> let's just get right into it. Now, the ruling's still out on whether or not I want to build him with like a SP based build. A uh, reason for that is he does have a high berserker, right? And with the high berserker, you can actually build him hybrid. But at the cost of a ton of his damage and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into his strong attacks in a bit so first strong attack is the standard beam that we get nowadays crazy crazy range easily guard breaks enemies very linear though like it doesn't have a crazy amount of spread on it and then his second strong attack as you can see here is the plant vortex with a 24 second cooldown it is an elongated vortex just like tag team ichigo just like uh um, tech rangiku but as you can see here, he deals pretty good damage. He's still killing the hollows with like one hit, I believe. One, right? One. Ah, oh, barely. Yeah, so he circles around himself. One, two, circle. One, two, circle, circle. And uh, he has some good AoE on it. But since he doesn't have long reach, it's kind of hard for him to just assume that he's not going to take damage at some point. He does have poise, so you're not going to be pushed back, which is nice. So you, you're not hit... Oh, oops. We're going to his third. Pop. I'm going to knock down this little dude. Nope. Okay. What was that AI? Did you see that? My man's is like, I don't want to hit him, bro. That's Bay right there. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, so he hits hard. I actually want to see if he can auto. We'll test out the autoing after this. Um, we'll do... Oh, crap. Oops. Uh, we'll do quite a few runs. Can you just, like, register my button pushes, please? Thank you. I was kind of actually hoping that would have killed, but... <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Yeah, so the Kampachi, overall, he's good. I don't think he's going to be crazy in PvP or nothing. Like, he's literally not really... Like, he has the DR, he has the poise, he has the flurry. But right now, with Askin being in the place that he is, I do feel... I do feel like Askin is just so much more superior to the point where people are actually bringing in Ravrukas, Weakens, and when you have those guys, I don't think that this Kenpachi is going to be able to stand up to those characters specifically because one, they have uh, either Captain or Hollow Killer, which he obviously is not a Hollow, but he is an Arankar Killer, which means the only person he's really dealing more damage against at this point is probably Noitora and uh, Red Okiora, if, uh, and Red Okiora also claps his cheeks too, so... I don't know many people that actually run Red Okiora, but I mean, with the poise, you know, it's a poise boost. If you don't have Chad by for some god awful reason, like having a boost unit is actually kind of necessary. So if you have like Askin, if you have Ichibe, you're running a boost along with them just so that they can actually like uh, just do better overall. Let's uh, let's bring I'm gonna bring the normal attack damage item. That way, he has an easier time autoing. Uh, we're gonna put him with DR, and then after this try, like after this auto run, what we're gonna try to do is uh, test to see how he performs um, with an SP based build. I think an SP based build could actually be good for him. Uh, there's a lot of freeze units. I feel like I feel like the Okiora would be better than a damage twenty for damage reduction. Worst case scenario, Halibel carries. So, all right. And engage the auto function, bro. Immediately starts off with his third into his first. Not quite able to kill, though. No strong attacks to actually guard break. You know, Kampachi the little train that could, man. <laughs> I am glad that he got a PvE killer. I'm just a little disappointed because I was really hoping that they would have kept up the SP trend for these Link Slot characters. Like, I think Rukia was... I I think Rukia was actually well designed, because you have strong attack recharge on her as a skill. She has a last ditch link, so she survives even when autoing. And then on top of that, her kit is just... Uh, she has a good kit. She has a good kit. Especially her uh, charge third strong attack, because it's not a regular full screen. It's in front of her. And I think that that's uh, incredibly good for... Especially co-op, where if you lag, it could be bad, or the enemies don't get pushed back, or the enemies like spawn in dealing... Uh, doing damage and stuff and attacking, which is kind of annoying. Alright, so Kampachi's doing just fine. I feel like he's getting good RNG, though. Like, he hasn't been swarmed or anything. And he's also not getting hit with the freeze enemies, which I think probably would have cost him the game. Maybe not yet. We'll see. Like, he's almost done, though. Yeah, and with the DR, he doesn't even take much damage from the Nut Blasters. Okay, taking Okiora's ultimate to the dome. Dang, man. I remember how epic this ultimate was when he, I first like saw this game. Because he was already out by the time I started playing uh, BBS. I started playing, I want to say, like two weeks before the Dongai banner came out on JP. That's like the one thing I hate about this game is that... After a character comes out, you're not allowed to ever get them. 
Like, even with the premium pool, it's like, it's so rare to get characters because K-Lab comes out with so many. And now with everything being limited, you literally can never get the characters. You know how many comments I get asking, oh, it's like, can I get, it's like, where, where am I supposed to get Tokinata? Where do I get Manga Toshiro? I'm like, you don't. You, you literally just don't ever get them. Unless K-Lab decides to graciously put them back in in such a bad banner that it's not even worth summoning on to begin with. Alright, so let's, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of a proper build to build him with. Like for a hybrid. I mean, he has a high bruiser. I think that's fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. I don't want to, like, take links off of my Halibut. Is my Halibut naked or something? Oh, no, she just has Transcendent Links on. Okay. Alright, and yeah, let's see exactly how this does. Um,. I don't know if I should auto or try to auto. I definitely don't want to auto with like a hollow bait and a fortification pill. That would not be uh, fair. <laughs> that would not be a fair uh, thing to showcase. All right. All right. Cleaves fairly well through the first stages. That's pretty good. The Berserker 50% is definitely putting in work here, though. The big enemies still aren't getting taken down with one strong attack. That's not good. Okay, I didn't have full standard damage boost links on. That's fine. No. <laughs> Damn it. As soon as I finish my flash step, I'm like, no. We got caught. Yeah, that was me. I derped so hard there. <laughs> oh, man. Dang, dude. It's been a long, long, long week, man. I feel like. Every single time I'm trying to do something, something else always comes up. I feel like I need to buckle down. I got stuck on like the last little inch of that. Okay. Just realized that I didn't use my ultimate. Not one time. Hit it. And with that being said, <laughs> the Sanosuke died, I'm weak. <laughs> Yo, the dude, that Sanosuke soft, bro. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to leave it at that. You know, this guys grind on, catch up, hit me up, stay blessed. Like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Yeah, the Kampachi's good, man. And on a hybrid build, he's actually not bad. I'm, I'm not going to lie, he's not bad. Especially, um, especially considering that he only has, quote unquote, a Berserker 50%. Not many characters can actually put out that damage, uh, even Link slotted. And the characters that I'm using for the links right here are actually not transcended at all like there's no extra sp from the transcendence at least not that much uh, you'll see that we only, we're only getting approximately 412 a spiritual pressure 20 percent of 412 uh, I, I don't know what that is but that's like about like 150 sp per character so that's that's not even like that's not even crazy because these characters don't even have crazy high sp except for maybe stark maybe but i'm gonna leave it at that you know, guys grind on catch up payment stay blessed like comment subscribe new Hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next one. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'm out, y'all.